So, welcome to this little um, showcase of the integrated speedrun timer for Lunisus. Uh, without further ado, I will just go over everything and show you around. What you see right here is what you will see after you start up the game. It's just the timer window. You can move this freely around, but you will need to replace it every time you reopen the game. So for this, I will just put it at the top left. There, it's not that annoying. And yeah, that's very basic. You have the start and reset button and the stop button. Those are your splits. And this is your total timer. When you press three on your keyboard, you will get this nice little pop-up for your um, settings. Here you can change the category. This is displayed also in the main timer screen. You can change this around. Uh, when I go to the max split size here, you can see true ending goes to act X 100% as well. Any percent only 272. And the same thing when you now switch to like Tori, it automatically changes the splits for you. So yeah. When we now say I want to do any percent Hannah, and I will only want six splits to be visible. And that's those things. Auto load levels is also an interesting setting because it will automatically load the levels for you. I will put this on. And when I now press start, you see the level got automatically loaded. And when I now run to the finish, those are just, uh, I put up the speed, so this will not take so long. When you run the first time, every split will be red because you don't have any time set. The next time you run though, this will update accordingly. Now, let me just go through a few levels. Um, you can see, oh, because I failed. Uh, yeah, those slips will always be red. The main time will also be red because you have no total time set. Yeah. And these splits will update accordingly. Now it's at zero because they are total record set. Uh, when you have times set, those will update. When I like when I stop and restart, you see now I have here the eight and the 14. To instantly start without needing to press it, you can press one. When you want to stop, you can press two. And to show or hide the settings, you need to press three. The settings will only be visible when you are not running because um, this timer will do a lot of things for you. So when I go in here and I change, I want to do now Tori. Oops. And I now completely restart. Um, now you have Tori. So it will do a lot of the work for you. There is one downside though, when you um, play like this, timings won't be accurate in the sense of um, the main display of your save file. Can show you after I finish this run. This timing here will be absolutely spot on. It's the same as live split, but when I now stop it and I go exit the level, you will see it's at 02, like two seconds. But we obviously run for a little bit longer. So yeah, this is something that's not quite right. Also, what you will see, yeah, now we have Hannah. So we have the title screen normally. I get thrown in one one. Because technically have I played it. The same goes when we switch the character. We have nothing unlocked. This is however far you go when you auto load the levels, the levels will not be unlocked. They will just not be there. And the title screen showcase of the time is also not accurate. Those are the few things that do not match up. Um, when you don't auto load levels, things will show up normally. So when I would now start, 
run a hastily of Tori. I don't want to place Tori because I don't have values set. So I will just place Hannah. Now, when we finish a level, um, levels will load normally because the result screen gets loaded correctly. Yeah, we see the load screen is there. One, two loads in. We now exit the level. We have one, two. And this is it for this small short showcase. Uh, another few features I want to add later on is maybe some lightweight integration so you can see the world record for the um, correct category and character. So any person Hannah would showcase a little display down here for, well, the uh, world record you have in any person Hannah or like the world record for any person Hannah, the same for 100% Hannah. The times also get saved for every category. So you don't have the personal best for everything. Uh, it saves them for every category for every character. So you can have, so you keep track of those really accurate as well. Like I said, the timer is as accurate as the last timer. And yeah, this was my little showcase to the integrated speedrun timer for Lunasis.